seedlings have grown pretty well I'm very very happy this year they're ones I sowed last autumn uh, really easy to do you just basically pick them up off the ground and you sow them straight away but you've got to sow them somewhere where there's no mice and there's no rat stuff like that over the winter and you need to cover them over and let them settle and then before you know it the roots the, the main root goes out first you can see one here I've got out ready to be potted up that root goes down and then come the spring they actually start rooting well before they sprout uh, leaves so you'll see that little root come out the side of the of the um, of the chestnut and then uh, it's a sign that that one's fertile but I sowed probably about 100 maybe 120 in this pot it's actually a lid from a beehive but it's the only thing I could find and it was in the uh, veranda for the winter where it was basically pretty cold um, I don't run it warm and uh, it was just the natural temperature, so it was fluctuation ups and downs in the cold spell we had. So they kind of stratified the seeds maybe and then they all sprouted like this, so it's terrific. My kind of thinking on this is that I see farmers all the time cutting down trees here and I never see any planting any. And the one tree we really need most is chestnut trees because that gives our main flow here. And the spring flow is, is basically spring flowers and there's an abundance of them. But the summer flowers we could do with enhancing a bit. There's always bramble, there was always some chestnut, but some places haven't got so much. And around here, for instance, there's not as much chestnut as I'd like. So what I do is I grow these trees and give them to the farmers. So these will be potted up like that into these uh, pots that are nice and deep so they get a good root system for uh, over the summer. But I'll put them in the shade somewhere just keep them watered for the summer then next year i'll line them out i'll put them in the field down uh, we've got some land over there uh down that way uh, that i um i used to grow a lot of veg in but don't have time now because i'm a beekeeper but that's coming back a bit now things are settling down a bit and we've got time to do a few things now so i grow my young trees there and i basically just give them away but i give them to the farmers around here because i know they'll plant them and they know me because they know i'm a beekeeper and they know i'm kind of interested so they feel obliged to plant them out but there is, is uh, like uh, tree schemes over here that are uh, coming into place, coming into, into view. There's a lot of young seedlings being planted in the hedgerows. It's, uh, it's a French system they have where they basically supply the whole lot. They supply like a, not a mixed native hedge, but a, a hedge that's more suited to here. You've got hazel in it, you've got wild cherry, you've got uh, some chestnut, some oak. Uh, all things like that and a lot of subsidies are given towards that planting up for the farmers and I think it's much better when you drive around places like Shropshire in England you see uh, hedgerow after hedgerow after hedgerow absolutely fantastic stations of wildlife and over here we don't have that all we have is ditches at the side of the road and I think the farmers are missing a trick here I think they would have more shelter for their crops and I think that they would have more um, beneficial insects living in those hedges over here it's just wiped out so, but things are changing the attitudes are changing a bit and uh, things are getting a bit more um, biological minded. My getting back to this, my whole thing is it's, if you're a beekeeper and you can do it then you should be um, putting something back into it. Over here we've got a bit of land that we bought when we first came here and it was just a field when I bought it. So this is what you can do, you can very easily transform something and I'm pretty proud of this because we've got barn owls here now and uh, we've got Basically everything you see here in this field is what I planted by hand. Every single tree, a lot of the trees I grew from seed. Behind that hedge is my veg patch. And uh, you can see along the planted a hawthorn hedge all the way along the back there. So that's absolutely alive with bees at the moment. But it's just about warm enough. And we've got various trees. Now I've chosen trees that are kind of so sort of native. But I've got a lot of stuff like chestnut in as well that I know is really good for for all the insects and for the summer nectar flow but it's nice to have a bit of uh, variation anyway but um, no it's worked out really well I'm really pleased with it so that's my way of doing a little bit and putting a bit back in which I think everyone should try and do if they can it doesn't matter if you if you room for one or two trees if you can do that brilliant get a small garden tree that will still give flowers mm -hmm. 